next one's about boycotting industries don't agree with, that have good workers' rights. And for now, until there is a free Palestine, this song is about the boycott, divest and sanction movement. Get your fucking phones out, Google it, BDS, do your fucking research, boycott McDonald's, at least you don't give a fuck that they do a really nice vegan burger. Fuck them. Boycott Barclays Bank. If you're with Barclays Bank, cancel your fucking bank account with them. There's loads of shit you can do to easily change it to another one. Literally, it's 2024. Get over yourself. And fucking cancel your bank with them. There's a massive movement. Fuck the Great Escape Festival in Brighton, who are sponsored by Barclays. We asked them to drop Barclays as a sponsor, and they're currently standing strong on the answer of no. So, anyone going to Great Escape in Brighton, or any other bands playing it, join us in our fucking boycott. Message me on Tuesday, I'll have more information. Put your money where your fucking mouth is. A free party! Of my gender, which is very fucking fluid. It's called body politics. Give me a sec.
Mo? Shut the fuck up, Carl. Where's Chris Fishlock? Oh, you can. Come in. Get in now. Get in now. We've got a present for you. Everybody! It's Chris Fishlock, famous Bristol DIY fucking punk promoter, local legend, matching tattoo, first person ever to get a menstrual cramp tattoo. Da da! We did bully him into a Shambhala last year, anyway. It's Chris Fishlock's birthday! So everyone, you better fucking sing happy birthday now! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to this song. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. This next song is about Fishlock having a birthday wank. with all of his mates, which is all of you. It's called Mutual Masturbation.
This is our new song. I don't know the lyrics yet. I don't know the lyrics to any of my songs, but three lyric books down there, you just can't see it. <laughs> but I've also got the lyrics on my phone. Uh, this is a new song, it's called Class War. We've got a fucking beer with Courier Brew, who are based in Manchester. Check them out. If you're upstairs as an artist, our beer is on tap just for you, you lucky fucks. <laughs>
Alright, I just want to give a heads up for this next song, trigger warning, whatever you want to call it. Basically this song is about sexual assault and the R word. It's obviously a difficult subject. And if you need to leave, this song is two minutes long. Please leave, take a breather. Out there in the bar a bit or out there. Speak to someone, speak to us. If you can't get through at the back, you need to go. Ask the security and they'll help you out. Um, but yeah, it's important from survivor to survivor. I hope if you can stay, you do. And you feel empowered. And know that we love you and we're here for you. I'll just give everyone a minute. antagonistic
Sorry, my voice is actually going. <laughs> Fuck it! Yeah, it was a very quiet night last night. <laughs> I was tucked up in bed by 4 p.m. I meant AM. This song's about me having had two abortions. Yay! 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 Sorry. I saw my neck slip. Long.
our entertainment web industry is probably all turn out to be absolute perverts, pedophiles, rapists and racists. I fucking hate all of your favourite bands. I fucking hate you pop. He said we a 14 year old and wrote a fucking song about it. Fuck you BBC Radio 6. <laughs> Yeah. 